What's up everybody, Brian here from Exact IT. I wanted to come to you today with a quick video to talk about dark web and dark web monitoring. Um, you may have heard about it, you may have heard maybe that your credit card company monitors your dark web or you, you may have a credit reporting company that um, monitors the dark web for you. Um, Typically, the credit card companies monitor the dark web for things like your um, social security number. They will monitor an email address if you give it to them. Um, and they monitor other things. But um, we at Exact IT, we monitor the dark web for other things. We monitor for activity, suspicious activity around our domain, our company, our clients' companies, their domains. Um, we, look at a, we look at things a little bit differently, a little bit deeper than your um, than your bank would or a credit monitoring company would. Um, so uh, I wanted to share with you this video about information that's out on the dark web and why um, not using the same password across multiple sites or making sure that you're changing your password on a regular basis actually does still matter. Um, I've heard people say that password, changing your password does not matter. Um, but I'm gonna give you an example of, of why it, it is a good idea to practice changing your password or using a password manager uh, on your different websites that you use so you're not using the same password or you're at least changing it on a periodic basis. So uh, this is a record on the screen of my, of a compromised record of myself. Uh, yes, I have information on the dark web and you probably do too. And if you'd like a free scan for that, there's a link in the uh, comments section down below where you can grab one of those free scans from us. Um, so uh, this information was recently found on the dark web. Um, and it was actually from a data breach at Hauzo.com from May uh, 2018. And um, it was my email address and the password hit, if you look right here, is this long string of characters and numbers. And you might look at that at first and go, well, that, you know, it looks like a pretty strong, secure password to me. Um, the reality of it is, is it's not. Um, this is a hashed password. This is typically uh, how people who own websites in the database store your passwords. It's called a, a hash. It's an encrypted version of your actual password um, that can only typically be decrypted by that website if it has the decryption key. In this case, whoever obtained this data from this database didn't have the encryption key to decrypt these passwords. Um, so they don't have my actual password, but they have an encrypted version of it. Now here's, here's kind of the catch 22 with this. Uh, on the surface, you may think to yourself, oh, well, but they don't have my password. They have a hash version. Over time, people can figure out how to um, take the passwords from this breach and they can match a decryption key to these passwords and then effectively unencrypt all the passwords. Um, so just because they don't have it today doesn't mean somebody can't decrypt it, uh, you know, a month or two or two or three years down the road. At any time in the future, this password could be decrypted and then it will be out there on the dark web. Um, so I wanted to bring this quick video to you so you had a little bit of a deeper understanding of why, because if I continue to use this password from May of 2018 um, moving forward and somebody figures out what this actual password is, they effectively could log into all my accounts. If I use this same password on, say, my banking or my Facebook and somebody could figure that out. They could log into my social media. They could log into my banks if I'm using those same passwords. That's why it's always a good idea to use a password manager. It forces you or it, and it, or it easily allows you to not use the same password on all sites and easily generate a secure, strong password that um, nobody could guess or it's not something that you're memorizing and using across multiple websites. 
So I hope this gives you a, a, a deeper understanding and a better idea of what is out there on the dark web and how information on the dark web can be used against you, uh, not just now, but in the future, because um, this stuff is out there. So make sure you're having some, again, if you'd like a, uh, a dark web scan, there's a link in the uh, comment section below where you can snag one of those from us. Have a good day, everyone. Talk to you soon.